What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from Dawson Speak TV and D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the videos on this channel. Much love to those who support this channel by donating. I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box underneath the video. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right. Out of all the topics that I've talked about on YouTube, this one is the hardest, but I know I got to do it. I'm going to get through it, so bear with me. And I'm in a good headspace to do it, so let me go ahead and do it now. My Denise has made her transition. Many of you all remember Denise from our other channel, Dawson and Denise. It was there in 2016 that she opened up publicly to our subscribers about her breast cancer diagnosis. Since that time, I have watched Denise help so many women who were newly diagnosed with breast cancer. I also watched as she gave encouraging words to family members that were caring for loved ones that also had cancer. And she did that even though she was having her own battle. And honestly, I admired her for that. She helped others even though she was dealing with her own battle. I have never met a woman like Denise. And honestly, I don't think I ever will again. I had the capacity to accept Denise for who she was, and she did the same for me. Denise and I never tried to control one another or hinder one another from achieving our goals. I am grateful that God blessed me, favored me to allow her to come into my life. I am a better man because God allowed our paths to cross while I'm on this journey through life. Denise was a sweet person, very pleasant and fashionable. Everywhere we would travel, y'all, even when we would do stuff here locally with the show, people would tell her, oh, you look so good. You look cute. I like your outfit. I like your hair, all this stuff. And I'd look at her. I'd be like, you know, you're the star of the show, right? And she'd be like, yes, I know. <laughs> she, <laughs> that's what she would say to me. Years ago, this was years ago, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. We were over on South Beach and we were uh, filming the show and then we stopped somewhere to eat. And on our way back, by the time we got on uh, Biscayne Boulevard, uh, my battery light came on. I had an old car then, y'all. And I remember I'm like, man, I know I have that uh, three-year warranty on the battery. So let me find Advance Auto. You know, you know, I'm, I'm, I know that stuff. So I'm like, let me find an Advance Auto. And I found the one that's, uh, you know, near Midtown. And I remember I got there just in time before they closed and Denise was with me. And we ran in there. We got the battery. And I, I had said, Denise, you got to hold the flashlight. I got to take the cables off and everything. And I had these Giorgio Armani shades, you know, because I'm trying to keep up with Denise because, you know, she's she's fashion queen. So I'm trying to keep up with her. And Denise was like, she's laughing at me. And I'm like, here, hold my Armani shades. I don't want them to break or fall. <laughs> And she looked at me while I'm putting the battery in the car, y'all. And she was like, you shouldn't be wearing Armani shades if you're having these type of problems. I'm like, what? <laughs> and that's the kind of person she was. Even in situations like that, she'd make you laugh, man. And I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that. You all, I've learned so much from this woman about family, relationship, friendship, business, even social media, how to do this, and also how to deal with haters and naysayers. Denise was a one-stop shop when it came to giving advice. Anyone that ever had a conversation with her, she always made you think, and she ensured by the end of the conversation that you had clarity on what she was saying. Denise had dedication, determination, and drive out of this world. She was a positive person, always upbeat. She enjoyed life. <clears throat> she enjoyed life and people. Now, during times like this, we all have our conversations with God, those who believe in God. Most of us, we do. Um, and I had my conversations with God and I told God, I said, God, you must know that I'm a strong man because my aunt Tamara, who I was close to, she made her transition last year. And that's my aunt Tamara right there. And now Denise has made her transition. And I remember during the time when my aunt made her transition last year, Denise told me she was like, Dawson. I know how close you both were, and I'm just so surprised at how you're handling this. And now God has trusted me to handle her transition. I must admit, <laughs> I tell y'all the truth. I have my talks with God, and I'm like, God, it seems as though the people who help, who add to society, who encourage others, who are doing things here on the earth, good things, it seems those people always cross over early. 
But the people who commit all kind of horrible, heinous acts in society, they're doing nothing with their life, nothing for themselves. They raise hell, <laughs> a bunch of hell raisers. They don't go nowhere. Take a breath. Well, Dawson, you ought not say that. Well, I think you better find a YouTube show where they're saying what you want them to say. Amen. Y'all know it's true. I'm still Dawson. Don't get it twisted. When I started doing Dawson Speak TV, I remember telling Denise that there were some people on my job that were watching my show. They were hate watching y'all and they were sending my videos to some of my clients. And I remember Denise encouraging me through that um, process, through that situation. And she would tell me that, you know, you got to do what you got to do in life. And looking at your plate is not going to make them full. That's what she'd say. Them looking at me, looking at my plate is not going to make you full. You got to do what you got to do with your life and I got to do what I got to do. And obviously you like what I'm doing. That's why you're watching me and I'm not watching you. De Denise just had a way of putting things, y'all, that just made you go, wow, why am I even sweating that? I tell y'all, Denise had the perfect advice for every situation and I'm going to miss that. She often would tell me, I got God and God got me. And I know that she was a woman of faith. All the way up until the end, we were in the hospital and sitting around watching football and the nurse came in, y'all. <laughs> and Denise sitting there talking with us and we're all watching the football game and stuff and everybody's laughing. And the nurse said, you know, on a scale of one to ten, what's your pain level? And she said, By, it's about an eight or a nine. And I looked at her, I'm like, an eight or a nine? And you're sitting here talking to us watching football? You want us to leave? You want some rest? But that's who she was all the way up to the end, man. She was a fighter. She kept the faith no matter what. Everything that I wanted to say to her, I already told her. And in our last conversation, it was great. We both said we loved one another. Now I'm off of this, y'all. I made it through. <laughs> I'm going to leave you all with some videos of fun times of Denise and I that we had on YouTube. Although we had more fun off of YouTube, traveling and hanging out and enjoying life. Denise was not a sad, down-and-out person, so this video doesn't have that sad music that comes with Celebration of Life and tribute videos, because that's not who she was. Denise would often tell me, please don't bring those sad singing, flower-bringing songs. <laughs> she would say that. She said it sometimes on this YouTube show. She was not that type of person. So I'm going to leave y'all with some of the clips of our videos on Dawson and Denise. Um, I miss her, man. I miss her. I have my moments like everybody. When you lose someone, you have your moments. Ugh, but I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it, y'all. I'm going to get through it. To our viewers and subscribers on both channels, she loved you all. She did. And when I would tell her, I'd say, Denise, they're asking for you. You're going to come back. We need to do some shows. Come on. She'd smile. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it. But Denise was out living a life, man. She was out doing her thing. <laughs> Oh, man, and I'm glad she did. I wanted her to enjoy life to the fullest. Now I'm off of this. My prayer is that if you all don't already have it, that you will find someone that brings love, hope, positive energy into your life like Denise brought into my life. I love you, Denise. I love my Aunt Tamara as well. I'm a better man because you both lived and you loved me. Well, let me shut up now, because if Denise was here, she'd tell me, you're so long-winded, could you shut up and let me speak, please? So here you go, Denise. Speak. They hear me all the time. And, and let me tell y'all why. I've been, <clears throat> I've been fighting this battle since 2016. It just won't let me be. But it is, you know, October and is breast cancer awareness, but we are changing the narrative because, like I told you before, we are well aware of it. So my thing now in October is to try to help as many women um, going through this as possible. I'm, I'm tired of, you know, with the awareness. We know that. Where is the real help? Where is the real, you know, showing you how to live through this? Because that's that's the whole thing, being able to live through this. Because, yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Keep fighting. Yes, we got the good. fight. And looking good, and we man. Look at it. We got the fight. That was like, wow. Oh, we got the Hi, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Dawson and Denise show. What up, y'all? What up? What 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 what, what up? <laughs> what we not gonna do? What we not gonna do? I was getting ready to say I'm Denise. I'm Dawson. 
I like your shades. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like your shades. But hey, we are here. We are live. We are on a beautiful beach. It's a beautiful day. Yep. We're in the best of moods. Yep. Um, and Denise, her life is... When I call you today, <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's going on? We talking about the case? Oh, I'm getting my lashes done. I'm like, you just I like... See what I'm saying? The principles that Iyanla put out in that show and see so many different and people like you said, in our lives. Like, who is she? She's no therapist. But when you've been through a lot, and like you said, when it's your talent, when it's well, your, gift, your gift, when it is what, what it is, it happens. People come to me all the time and spill their guts. I don't have a license, but I have lessons. Exactly. Wow. Look at you. Yeah, <laughs> No, but see, that was one of the... Forget them, for lack of a better word. Forget them. Do not let anyone appraise you. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't allow anyone to get in your mind like that. Oh, oh. oh philosophical here. Oh. Don't let anybody appraise mm -hmm. you. You do the appraising yeah. of yourself. It's your self-worth. Yeah. If it was somebody else, you'd still feel the same right. way. Right, so it's you. It's you. That's that's basically what it is. It's you. So, I mean, I think, hey, you know, DJ, for everybody. DJ. DJ, yeah. DJ. Yes, that's I'm all good. I have ice cold, ice cold, too cold. For sure, alright, alright. Better ask somebody to see you got that water. All we gotta do is holler. 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 All we gotta do is Y'all ain't hear that. Deactivate the Deactivate hate. Deactivate the hate so you, you can, can appreciate. appreciate it. It came right. You see what I mean? Yeah. You see what I mean? How stuff will come right on time? No. You see how our message that we were speaking came yeah. from what someone else? He said deactivate the hate. And yeah, appreciate. And appreciate. And that's what it is. You know, y'all be careful out there calling everybody your friend because, you know, you got to have some people who know you through all seasons who... who who you've been through the fire with these people. Here we go, man. Anyway, I'm your God Dawson. I ain't just you. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Y'all take care of yourself and each other. Come on, come on, come on. She back, y'all. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace. Oh, man. Oh, you know they got the bodyguard musical. Yes. Yeah.